My brother asked if I could take a look at this. It's an automatic briquette feeder for his uh, smoker. And uh, it seems to have a slight technical issue whereby it just continuously feeds. It's supposed to pause after feeding a briquette, but it just keeps feeding them out continuously. And I guess, uh, noting that this, this, I didn't realise at first until I touched it, that uh, this end gets very, very hot. It preheats them before they go in. And if I tilt this up, let's see if you can actually spot the problem here. So uh, see if we can focus on that. So it's got a manual override button here and it's jammed in. So that'll be why it's feeding continually. Uh, so let's take a look inside. I'll just pop the lid off that right now. This thing is quite bulky, so it's hard to fit it under the camera. However, let's take a look. We've got a standard synchronous geared motor down here and we've got a micro switch for the end of travel position. And when the motor cam comes around, it physically just clicks the uh, stud in the micro switch. There is a circuit board. I wasn't expecting a circuit board. I thought this was going to be all electromechanical with maybe a motorised timer. But we've got a circuit board here that on one side has a su surprising amount of suppression circuitry. We've got a X2 capacitor, we've got a COM mode suppression choke, X2 capacitor the other side. We've got um, two class Y uh, capacitors to air ground. We've got a metal oxide varistor with lots of suppression and a small transform for powering the circuitry. On the other side, Oh, let's see if I can actually get this round. You can see it. On the other side, we've got a full body direct fire coming out with a, a small capacitor across it, decoupling capacitor. We've got the, probably the main reservoir capacitor, probably a voltage regulator. Uh, yes, it's 7, says 780. What is that? 7809. 7809, which is a 9 volt voltage regulator, quite an unusual choice. Uh, then we've got more uh, filtering capacitors, suppression, uh, suppression, not suppression, just smoothing capacitors after that. And then the main chip is a 4060. Now the 4060 is a binary counter with built-in oscillator function that you can just add an external capacitor and resistors, which is probably what that is over there. And that's driving via this transistor, this relay, which then just pulses the motor on. I'm guessing, could be wrong, I'm guessing that the motor... Uh, I'm not sure if the switch is signalling back. The switch is actually going back to the circuitry, so it may actually reset the circuitry at the end of travel until it gets the next pulse. Um, I thought initially that that might actually be just turning off the, you know, interrupting the circuit to the motor and then getting bypassed the relay, but... Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm guessing it is acting at a sort of electronic level. Everything is pluggable in this, which is quite nice. The heating element uh, is just going straight out. And I'm guessing, well, this suppression circuitry seems odd because at first glance, nothing needs suppressed. The heating element isn't uh, under, it's not being dimmed or anything like that. The synchronous motor won't create any electrical noise, but there's an output along these brown and blue wires going to feed the rest of the unit, which may actually involve... A, some sort of electronic regulation circuit in the other unit, or it might involve a fan with brushes. I'm not sure, I'm not sure it's another unit. Uh, the bit that was faulty was just the little switch down here, and everything, it was hot melt glued in, but everything is just uh, clipped in the front, and as it happens with these tiny little switches, uh, it, you know, it's a very close friction fit to the case. And uh, it was just squeezing it a, a tiny bit too tightly, and that was causing it to bind. So I've uh, taken that out, I've cleaned the switch, uh, removed any sort of slight ripples in the plastic of the switch itself. And also, uh, because the, the hole it was in was just that tight, possibly because of the paint finish, I just removed a slight touch of paint around the edge that was squeezing that in, and now it operates smoothly. So now I'll put it back together and take it back over to my brother's place and give him it back. Now it's fixed.